Hey guys, my name is Chandan and welcome to the YouTube channel Educate India. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure DevOps tool. We'll discuss about what is Azure DevOps, what are the features of Azure DevOps, what is Git, then we'll create one basic project in Azure DevOps and we'll try to push that project using Git commands. Okay, so before that, we should know about what is Azure DevOps and then we should know about what is Git. So Azure DevOps provides developer services for support team to plan work, collaborate on code and build and deploy applications. So Azure DevOps is offering you many features like you can use Azure boards. There you can create the work item, boards, backlogs, sprint, queries, similar features like Jira. So if you are if you are working in a project, so you might have heard about this Jira tool with there you can maintain the work, work items, Jira boards, Jira dashboards, right? So the similar feature you will have here as Azure boards. So this is Jira tool. Normally it looks like uh, you have some active sprint going and then this is Jira board and then these are the items to do then I some item in progress some item in code review some item in done state so in a similar way Azure DevOps also you'll see Azure boards like some item will be new state some item will be in active state some item will be resolved state you can create epic you can create feature you can create sprints you can plan the sprints you can implement the agile in your project and you can work on agile methodology you can work on the entire team can plan the work they can have sprint planning sprint grooming sprint retrospective meetings and they can use the azure devops tool to maintain all those work items and then you have azure repos so this will act as a repository so either you can use tfvc or you can use git and using those you can push your code here in azure devops and you can maintain the code like you can you can create the branches you can create the pull request for margin you can see all the commits all the file changes all the pushes and uh, you can track all those changes you can see all the differences in pull request so these are you know everything uh, you can see here so normally if you know about the bitbucket tool they also have the same feature like you can you can uh, use bitbucket as a repository and you can push your code to bitbucket using git and then you can create pull request to merge uh, into different branches and uh, you can see all the commits uh, you can see all the changes in the code in bitbucket tool Bitbucket are offering some more features like uh, they also have some uh, concepts of continuous delivery. A similar feature here in Azure DevOps you will see in Azure repos. Okay, and uh, if you have heard about Jenkins, so Jenkins uh, is mainly CI/CD tool. So here you can create a Jenkins job, and that job can perform some operations. Like uh, uh, if you want to build your project, if you want to deploy a project, so you can use Jenkins as a CI/CD tool. So similar feature you will see in Azure DevOps Azure pipelines so azure pipelines is offering you pipelines so you can you can create build pipeline or you can create release pipelines like we will discuss about all those features in separate videos so in this video i'm just giving you the basic overview of azure devops here we have one more feature of test plans so you can create the test plans uh, in azure devops and then uh, you can explore many different uh, testing tools then we have azure artifacts so in azure artifacts you, you know you can create your private feed and you can store those packages and later on you can use those packages in your application so even if you let's say if you are using dotnet and if you want to create dotnet nuget package so you can easily store those nuget package in azure artifacts private nuget feed so you can create a feed you can store it here you can main, and this will maintain different versions of those those feeds okay and later on you can connect the feed uh, using one endpoint and some credentials so these are the different features of azure devops that we saw and uh, so let's discuss about git also so what is git so git is a free and open source distributed version control system so let's say if you're working in any project so there will be there will be many developers and they will be committing the different codes uh, in the, in any project or any solution so then you have to track the changes and there will be many set of files so many developer will uh, commit their change set so git is mainly used to manage all those changes 
so git uh, git will keep track of all your changes and uh, git in git you can create many branches each developer will work on their feature branches and later on uh, there will be one main branch um, from there you can trigger the deployment so let's say i'm working on some feature and some other person is working on some other feature so nobody is affecting each other's tasks so they can work independently on different different features and later on if they want to merge their code so it's very simple you can simply create a pull request and you can merge those codes by seeing the just changes between the branches so git is mainly used for version control i'll create a separate uh, video on git there i'll discuss about uh, the main git commands that normally we use okay so now we saw like what is azure devops what are the features of azure devops what is git now what is organization and what is project so if you click on azure devops so you'll see in the left side uh, this particular thing is organization so uh, let's say if you're working for any company so they will have some organization name in azure devops so this will be unique name for their organization so in our case we have created educate india live so this is one organization in azure devops if you want to add new project you can click on this new project you can create the project name you can give this some description and you will have option like whether you want to make it uh, public or private okay so i have created this educate india project so within that project you will have all those features you can have some dashboard where you can you know uh, create some dashboard item you can you can use some uh, azure devops widgets to track the project like you you want to see like how many work items are pending or what is the status of project or what is the burn down chart so those all information you can create here using the widget you can create those dashboards and you can see all the status and there's one more section called wiki section there you can create the document so you can create simple wiki page so you can name any page and uh, and you can just write all those information here so this will create a document and you can easily find in wiki page so this this acts similar like confluence so in confluence also uh, this is a product of atlassian so there you can create the document so in azure devops you can create documents within the wiki pages so now let's go to repos so right now if you see so repository is empty there is one default repo educate india but there is no any code here so to push the code first we need to create one project and we'll create one project and then we'll create a git repository and uh, we'll use these basic two commands to push that particular project here into azure devops so before that uh, you know you will need some uh, git commands also so you need to install the git in your system so you, how you can install the git so some basic steps about installing the git in your system so you just need to write git hcm so this is a git official website so here you will have some downloads you will click on download so you, you need to download you know as per your operating system so if you are using mac you can download from here if you're using windows you can download you can click here and download from here so i'm using mac so i have already downloaded my uh, the git tool here in mac there are some different steps that you need to follow so let's uh, let's click on here so uh, if you're using mac then you need to you need to go to homebrew so there are different different ways you can install git so this is one way i followed like you can go to homebrew and there uh, it will suggest one command this command so that that you need to open the terminal and you need to run this command to in your uh, local computer and once that setup is done then you need to run that brew install git so this will install git in your, in your uh, local mac operating system okay so once you got the git and then how you can verify that git is installed in your computer so then you can simply write git so so if you write git the, it will show you the different commands and options so it shows like git is already installed in the system so i can use the git okay so now i'm going to create one one new dotnet core project and after that i'll push that project to azure devops okay so let me create one new solution so i'll create one api project dotnet core 3.1 then the project name i'm giving is let's say this is demo okay and let me use dot net so 
so this is going to create one dotnet core project api project so we can verify it so let me go to that location so this is dotnet folder you can see it's a dotnet core api project right right so we can see whether it's a git repo or not so let me do ls let me go to dotnet and i can simply write git status because i have added new new file so if this is not a git repository let me go to demo okay let me write git status yeah it's a git repository it's showing like we have added new files okay it has also added the git ignore file now we need to push everything to azure devops so there are some basic commands that we need to run okay so what are the different commands so first we need to write git add dot so git add dot what it will do so it will stage all those changes so right now these are the unstaged changes so we need to stage it so we are using git add dot to stage those changes so if i'll if i'll run it okay so it has staged those changes now the next command will be to commit so we'll create we'll commit all the code so we'll use git space commit minus m commit message like initial commit so it has committed the code so once we committed the code then we need to push that code so we'll run git push so what is telling it is giving some error like no configured push destinations so for that we need to run some commands to set the destination okay so let's go back to azure devops so here also it is suggesting some command like we can you run git remote add origin command so we are adding this particular as a origin so so that this will be act as a destination so let me run this particular command we need to set the remote we have added the origin now we can run the push so now we have pushed everything okay so it has pushed the commit also so we can verify it in azure devops tool so let's click on repos yes it has pushed it just now you can see our project is here in azure devops if i'll click on commit so we have this commit message initial commit if i'll click here so it will have all the files like we have just added it if we we'll click on branch so initially it will create a default branch name it will name as a master branch and this is a default branch we can create many different branches like we can just click on new branch we can create it or there, there are different uh, git commands we can use to create the branches so we'll discuss about you know uh, different git commands and we'll discuss about each all the features of azure devops in the upcoming videos like how we can create the pipelines in azure devops uh, how we can create the build pipeline how we can create the release pipeline so i hope you know this gave you the basic understanding of azure devops and you you'll so how you can set up a basic project in azure devops so we'll explore some other features in upcoming videos till then take care bye bye stay safe and thanks for watching